This tutorial covers the Update Index section of TeacherWeb's template design websites. Your site's Update Index is the command center of your website. From here you can access the Update section of any individual page as well as change the look and general settings of your site. To get started, scroll to the bottom of your website, click the copyright link, enter your password, and click Log In. The first tab, called Update Index, lists all your active pages. Here you can update an individual page, or you can edit page settings. Here you can change the name of the page, allow others to update this page using an alternate password, block this page from unauthorized viewers, Hide the page by choosing not to display it on your website's menu. On many pages, you may also select a graphic to be displayed on the top and bottom of each page, along with media files, such as music, if previously uploaded. Also in this section, you may delete any page or add more pages. Deleted pages may be restored. You may also reorder your pages as they appear in your menu. Just drag the Move button to reorder, then click Save Page Order. The next tab is Page Settings. Here's where you can add events to your website's calendar, upload and delete files, manage your newsflash subscriber lists and grade files, and create word search and number block worksheets. The next tab is called Site Settings. Here's where you can change the look and feel of your site, as well as various other settings to customize your web. To change to a different template, just click on a design style and click on a color theme. On the Customize Your Web screen, you can activate your email link, add a link to your school's website, add a visit counter, and other settings. The last tab is called My Account. This area is used to manage your account information, such as making a payment or changing your password. You can also print out a handout to tell your students and their parents about your teacher website. In addition, you can return to the website's homepage Go to the Teacher Web su Support page and don't forget to log out of the Update Index when you're finished.